back. Trust the System Podcast, Season 2, Episode, episode one. 1. Welcome back. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. What's yes. your name? Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I'm Phil. I'm Seamus. I'm Sparno. And we're back for a second season, baby. Second season. Yes. Fireworks. Another, another cheer. <laughs> so many. Um, I guess this first episode back uh, after a six-month layoff is maybe just to touch base with the system nights. Get us back in for football season. Starts this Saturday, I think. A few games on yeah, the Saturday. First Saturday. This is it. Football's back. We're pumped. About Very time. excited about football. Everything else sucks in life. Ugh. Gambling on football is the only thing that matters. Yeah, That's it. Nothing, nothing, else, matters matters nothing else matters in life. <laughs> I've been getting by you have children, you have you know parents, family. It's just football. A widen the plan right? for? It, it, yeah. it means nothing. <laughs> football is the most important thing in the universe. Yeah. That's why Trust System is here for you to win some money. Let's go. All right. So, for those of you that don't really know, I mean, a lot of people still ask what the system is. Nobody understands what the system is. If you really want to know what the system is, you can watch episode one of the first season. Yeah. But I'll do a little recap, you know, of what the system is. I think so, most systemites know what it is, but we should have a few new followers, maybe. We're, yeah, we're going to have Just some like new wet guys. the whistle. So, system, we were terrible gamblers. <laughs> All of us. For oh. a long time. The worst. Some of us longer than others. <laughs> nice <fun up>. <laughs> <laughs> But we sucked, you know. We, but we kept doing it. We made, we, we made a lot of money. We lost all of it, and we just kept going. We kept trying. We Nothing never gave worked. Up, though. Yeah. Never gave up. Downward spiral, though. And then just one day, we figured, you know, if we're so bad, if we can lose 10 bets in a row, we've we got to be able to win 10 bets in a row. So one day, we just said, let's just do the opposite of what we think. And that was kind of the seeds of the system. Never looked back. Yeah. You know, obviously, there's much more to it than that. A lot of things we can't really share with you. The secret reasons. Oh, so many secret reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Even we, have, we have some secret reasons from each other. Yeah. That's how good those reasons are. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what Sparno's secret reasons are. <laughs> no one's going to But, but know. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> so, th- the secret reasons we're never going to share with anyone. Ever. We can't share the secret reasons. But just know if we say, like, Boom, there's fucking three secret reasons on this bet. Yeah. Oh, you better chill down. Yeah. The, house. the more secret reasons there are on a bet, the better the bet is. And we, we, we usually do explain how many secret yeah. reasons are. And again, the proof was in the pudding last season. I mean, I don't know if Phil have got more of the records or I anything, but when we called out the secret reasons and there's video footage, if we said there were several secret reasons, I mean, I, I would say we're probably shooting about 80% of those. Very rare we lost yeah, any of, of those bets. I can go over the stats first, I guess. Yeah, why not? So last year's stats, I, I only did the um the, the season stats. Fuck it. I don't want to go over all the, the random shit. We had shit. some really good weeks in between and obviously some middle weeks. but There was one real bad week. That, that was, was it, it which, is, which is pretty good. I mean, a lot of people have a bad week and they're out for the season. They're dead. Right. We already had so many good weeks before the bad week that it was fine. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. It actually didn't matter, no. And then we had some really good weeks after that, too. Um, most weeks, I feel like last year, most weeks were like even weeks. Maybe win a little, lose a little. And then you just have, like, a couple monster weeks and a couple bad weeks. Or, yeah. a, like, a bad week and, an, and a semi-bad week. And we might sound repetitive in this episode, especially for people who watched last season, because we wanted some big, big weeks. But maybe just with, like, the college transfer portal was the first year we were dealing with it. Yeah, it We didn't never happen. had that we big, had one. big... It was, yeah, one big week. Yeah. We went through the years before we had, like, four Two or five in a row. row. Yeah, yeah I know. So we're hoping again this year, I'm thinking that's more evened out a bit with the transfer portal now a couple of years old. The lines fall into the place that the system, all our secret reasons and what we're looking at, like we're going to have a couple of big, big weeks. Yeah, hopefully like we, we, get, we get that back. I mean, honestly, college football hasn't been as great as it used to be for us. I remember we hit like three, four years ago, we were just on, on fire with college. But the NFL wasn't as good. Now the NFL's better. It's weird. The NFL, system is, the NFL is great. You can't explain love, the system. I do love the NFL, though. NFL is good, yeah. All right, so last year's stats, we went 80 and 48 on the show with, with those nine picks we always take on the show every week. I mean, the first two weeks we didn't take nine, but after that we took nine every week, three each. Mm-hmm. So 80 and 48, that's 63%. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing the math for you, okay? I didn't know. So with, I didn't the, know with the math on the losses, 10% with the VIG to the, to the bookie, you're up 27.2 units for the season. So if you bet a hundred, you were up twenty seven hundred twenty dollars. If you bet a thousand, you were up twenty seven thousand dollars. 
and so on. Oh, uh, that was <laughs> Not so, not and things. then if you took every single bet, which means the picks on the show plus everything that was on Twitter and Instagram, you went 345 and 261 <laughs> for the season, which is 57%, which is less percentage, but you're actually up more units overall. You're up 58 units. That's with the percentage of, of the, the VIG. So that means you would, you know, 58,000 if you, if you bet $1,000 per game. 5,800 if you bet 100 per yeah, game. And just again, to dumb it down again, this is stuff we said last year. I think the like professional cappers in Vegas are shooting around 53, 54%, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, they are. I looked it up. Yeah, it was. So we said it last year. We're better year, than so. that, and we're much better than that in the show. So the proof is in the pudding. That's one season. That's 600. That's over 600 <sighs> bets. So that's not just a fluke. Nah. It's a lot of yeah, bets. I bet five games, and you won yeah. four and one. We, 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 everything is on the freaking Instagram. I never deleted one post. Everything is there. It's all there. Everything, the whole season is there. So, oh, also, the Fade the Sparno was 20 and 13. Ugh. That's not included in those, <laughs> in those uh, stats. My personal so, that, that adds to personal it. Favorite. Sorry, buddy. Because that's, um, <laughs> that's like 60% yeah. or more. It might be more, actually. 20 and 13. That's, that is more. Yeah, that's, that's more than 66%. 60%. So, Fade Sparno is. actually beat all of us. <laughs> Faith is far, I'll beat yeah. everyone, percentage-wise. <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but kind of on purpose. <laughs> All right. So, real quick. What I do, I'll tell you what I do every season. Whatever my bet is, 10 times my bet is what's in my account before I start the season. So, for example, if my bet's $100, I start with 1000 and I go, I go with that. And you, I, last year, I didn't have to touch it. It just grew and grew and grew the whole time. So I never had to touch it all year. At the end of the year, I took everything out. So I would, I would, I would suggest you have 10 times your bet in the thing. Mm-hmm. Pick your bet, whatever it's going to be right now. If it's $100, stick with it the entire season. Don't, don't raise it. Don't lower it. You know? No, yeah. yeah if you bet, bet one on one game and less than the other, it's, yeah. it's not going to yeah. work don't, out. Get a bit consistent. Don't see us put out three bets and the first two win. And then for the third bet, you fucking triple it. And then you know what? It loses, and now you actually end up down money, even yeah. though we were two yeah, and one. Yeah, same. You got yeah, you got to stick consistent. And to real quickly fill what you said is, I mean, I think you wanted to bring this up anyway. Or we're going to be not with we're sponsored, but like Caesars doing a really good uh, thing on their app for fantasy or not fantasy for betting. Caesars is the best for promotions, which I'm going to join. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah, part of this. I told these guys to do it. I, I started last year towards the end of the season actually, and I already had a free trip to Atlantis. In Bahamas for free. Yeah. Me and my girl went to Bahamas. I, I sent a video, a, a picture of me on the big chair yeah, on the Instagram. That was awesome. So for, that, was, again if it's that was a free trip. I, <laughs> I, I can go every year now for free to Caesars because I bet so much on the on the and thing. And they're offering up to, so it's again, it's to what you're comfortable with, but I think they're offering up to like, is it 1250 If you deposit 1250 yes. they offer. Your a, first a bet's on the house. If you, if you, if you bet $1,250, if you lose it, you get it back. So it's a yeah, you've got a pretty pretty much a free bet up to twelve fifty, and it's what you feel comfortable with. You only put one of fifty bucks in, and you put that fifty duck, uh, fifty dollar bet in, and you lose, you get your fifty bucks back. So I would suggest doing the whole thing. It's free money. So would I. Yeah. Yeah. But to each your own. Make that bet twelve fifty. Whatever the first bet you're gonna do, make it twelve fifty. It doesn't matter if it loses or wins. You get the money back, and you could bet it again. But if you win, then you're, it's like it's free money. It's yes. Literally, literally free money. I did yeah. that when I joined, and uh, so, I use all their all their. Promos I use. Caesars is the best. FanDuel gives a lot of um, free bets. They give you extra money to bet. Yeah. But that's yeah, all they, that's all they do. All Caesars gives nah. you real stuff, like free rooms in Vegas, flights to Vegas, flights to Atlantic City, things like this. They give you real things. Well, that's why this year we're definitely going to, because I'm, I'm definitely joining, I hope you are too, that we'll have our like end of season system party in fucking Bahamas. Yeah. Because Phil's only one who went last year. I was yeah. mad jealous. <laughs> so we already go this year. One guy actually went from the system. That, really? Yeah, he, he, yeah, Pat. Pat. He, he, went, he told me about it, actually, the season thing, and that's, that's why I joined. So it's just it, look out it, it for season. Good. Again, as I said, look out for anyone gambling. All those different uh, sites offer different promotions, but from yeah. what I've seen, Caesar is definitely the best. I mean, yeah. because it's got someone tangible. It's got freaking hotels all over the fucking place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did MG, I got MGM now too, just to see what goes on with that. I got FanDuel, Caesars, and MGM, and I use them all. Yeah. I still use so. FanDuel because, I mean, I just like That's the, all it's I use. Easy, yeah. It's easy, but they're not giving anything besides money. They or, give you money, which is give good. You, and but, a few boosts here and Yeah, there. they give yeah. you boosts so and stuff. So I'll, I will be, I'm going to put a lot of stuff on Caesars. So if any screenshots I put up are probably more likely going to be in Caesars. 
as opposed to FanDuel from last year. Caesars yeah. is is my favorite. Yeah. So, uh, hmm. What about people who just don't understand what the system is? You ever, you ever talk to people? They're never going to get it. They're never going to get it. You ever talk to people? I have people in my life that just like they, oh, they okay. watch the podcast and they just like still bet. They still make these bets that I'm like, but don't you listen at all? I, I will say this people that don't really bet like us. Like it's so hard to bet against like your gut. So if you, if you like a game and we're saying like bet the opposite, it's hard to do that. It's really hard to do that. If you, if you, if you really like the Yankees and they're losing every fucking game. It's hard. It's hard to do that. It's hard to bet against them if you really feel a certain way. It's especially hard in baseball with the li- the way the lines are. Yeah. yeah man. Again, when we said it last year, I'm not. I'm not the biggest. I I, I bat baseball over the summer because there's fuck all else to bat. Yeah. I did but mess I, up and do it. I yeah. tried to. I tried to like see if we can keep the system going all season, and I started betting like, <clears throat> you know, the college basketball and and the baseball. But I started there, there doing. There is certain baseball games are a system. Like. Yeah, there is, but it's so long of a season that the system fails a lot too. He does, of course. And I see it firsthand. 160 games. All the time. Forget about us. So we're not, as I said, we're not baseball. It's just football. I think football, we just football. keep this season like I you do. So it's you August, football. the end of August, until the beginning of January. Once college football ends, we did end it. We did go to college basketball. Yeah, but we ended it. But then we kept going with the football playoffs and the college basketball and the NBA playoffs. And it wasn't really that good. I mean, it was it was okay. It's not. We didn't get killed, but it wasn't like as good as you know the season is. Yeah. So that's just. But again, and then that ties into someone like the good thing about the system is, and like I feel like, I don't know you, but I was I felt like pressurized almost because people football ends in February, and now like people are asking us in April, it's like come on, we want some bets. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was dabbling in the NBA, which I, honestly I'm not that great in the NBA. That's someone I'm going to lay off this year. If Phil dabbles, that's great. But it, football, it's tough. It is tough. The it's beginning like, of the NBA season was great last yeah. year. We went on fire. But again, like and we're going to do it again this year, definitely. Yeah, but we know when to stop. Yeah, here. Thanksgiving. Remember. Yeah. So now that we have, like, oh, that's another thing. We have all the stats from last year. I literally have every single week. I, I think I'm missing a couple things but because of a picture. But we have every week which the stats of, like, which NBA games we won and lost. So we're, we're going to be able to go back. This is the, For the first time ever, we're going to be able to actually look at last year and see exactly what our bets were, how we did, and see if we can compare it, be better or worse. Yeah. We've never done that before. Yeah. And last year was the first year we actually bet for other people. Can't stress how fucking hard that is. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And we did good. No, we done great. But, so. But it's just, it's just not easy. And, again, and it's the first year we, we bet on a Wednesday for Saturday and Sunday games. Yeah. And we went 80 and fucking 47. Yeah. 48, whatever it is. Yeah. We usually bet right before the game in real life. Yeah. But we had, to, we had to pick games on Wednesday. We're giving out the picks on Wednesday, which we usually don't make two minutes before the game. Yeah. So we're giving it fucking <laughs> four days in advance, five days in advance. And still, because a lot can happen between those days, a lot can happen between Wednesdays till Sunday. The main guy can get injured. Yeah. But anything can We're taking Monday night football games yeah. on Wednesday. It's actually, yeah. And we dominated Monday night football this year. It actually beggars belief. So now, now we're a little more experienced. We had a great season last year. We're going to come at you with a better season this year. And we decided, we were thinking about it for many, many nights, tossing and turning in bed. <laughs> We're going to give you one more free season of picks. What? This is the last one. First, I heard this of it. This is it. This is it. We is wanted it? to make some money off you, Systemites, but we're going to give you one more free fucking season. So uh, you better use it wisely. Take advantage of it. Take one, advantage. One more is good. This is free money. No, I got to do one more. One more. That's it. It's like, supposed to be friends, so you know what? I like, uh, to, be I cons- I like to be consulted about this, but one more season. That's Fuck it. it. Sleepless <laughs> nights. A lot of sleepless nights about this. Um... Actually, real quickly, I meant to say this earlier. I'm sure everyone's noticed the shirts. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We forgot. Yeah. So uh, uh, we put out a promo last week. Big shout out to Angelo just to get the the people getting interested again. Get the ball rolling. Yeah. So someone actually uh, sent us these shirts. I think it was a systemite, and he, he sent a load of shirts for everyone, but there was some problem with delivery. I can't remember what happened, but it was some Came agent. from Ireland. Yeah. We had a real Irish courier coming over, but unfortunately, he lost some of the products. So we'll probably have some of these out later on. But you uh, got a video of it too, right? Oh, we do. I. No, up there too. Up oh. there. Look at all the fucking teachers for that, you stupid cunt. Look, what are you at? <laughs> what the fuck are you at? For anyone who's seen that, uh, yeah, the promo video, it was. This is the part with Sparno's vein yeah. making the system. It might not come out enough on this camera. There it is. Yeah, it's right here. But again, go on to uh, 
uh, Instagram, and it's it's very fucking funny. Oh, the the, the Sparno Y is uh, great. It's it, actually, it fits perfect it's in the system le- world. It's legendary now. It yeah. is. It really is. Around the world, even in Ireland. It oh, would yeah. be better if it was upside down. Because it's fade the Sparno. <laughs> 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 all right. So, all right. I, I, I would say this is the last time I'm gonna say it. You could, you could, you could take the show picks only to make it easy for you, you know. But you have to decide right now. You're gonna either take the show picks, all of them, and don't do anything else, or you're gonna take all the picks. If you're gonna take all the picks, I'll tell you right now, you're gonna make more money. It's gonna be way more stressful for you. But it's not as stressful as it is for me, who has to actually make the picks, post them, bet them, and post them on the friggin' Twitter, copy and paste it onto the Instagram before the game comes out. All you have to do is literally know when the games are going to be played. So football is Thursday night. All right, game's at 8 o'clock. All right, he's probably going to post it around 7.45. Pay attention from 7.45 until 8. That's all you got to do. 15 minutes of your life. You could subscribe to the notifications on the Trust the System page, the Instagram or the Twitter, and then you get alerts. <laughs> and then you get alerts. So if you're gonna bet all the bets, all you gotta do is subscribe to the thing, get the alerts, and know when the games are gonna be played. So Saturday football, 12 p.m. That's the first games. So 11:45, be ready. Look at the fucking Instagram. Next games, 3:30. Be ready at 3:15. The next games, seven o'clock. Be ready at 6:45. Simple. Sunday right. football, one o'clock. Be ready at twelve forty-five. It doesn't get any yeah. easier. And that's that's going out to true systemites who really want to just like go with it for the year. Like he was just he touched on very briefly. Look for the people watching, especially a lot of people, my friends in Ireland stuff who don't maybe have as much access to NFL over there. Just right, you take it easy breezy. Take the fucking nine system, system picks on the show, and that's it. Bat them every fucking week. You're going to end up money. The You're going to be stress free. Systemites a new word. No, we, we saw oh, that on, a long bro. time ago. It's, yeah. it's, it's in the fucking dictionary. I've never heard that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a dictionary. Word. It's a very good word. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know the definition? So, yeah. <laughs> and it was also in fucking last season. Can you spell it? <laughs> spell systemites. Yeah, dude. System, N I T E S. How do you spell system? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, but I would suggest if you're going to just take the show picks, bet them bigger. Just bet them huge. We never had a bad week once. We went f- five and four was our worst week with the show picks. So you're still making a little bit of money on that one. So be- be- just take those nine. P- if you're just going to do those nine picks, bet them as big as you can. Whatever you're comfortable betting. We are going to, and later in the show, we're going to make some. Uh, we're going to make some predictions of the year. But I'm guaranteeing we're going to have a nine nine no show this year. I'm guaranteeing oh, it. That's definitely. And happen. that would be so nice. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> that would be so nice because yeah. I always do that parlay and yeah. we never hit it. We went eight and one, I think. Yeah, that's eight, that was we so close. Yeah. yeah. So which I'm, I'm right. We went six and two week two because we only took eight. We'll blues. probably do the same thing next week. It's <laughs> another system night over there. It's a it's big system night. It's a guess for the future. And we're back. And you know we always we always used to do the tasty tree segment. I love it. Shame is favorite part of the show. Maybe Sparno's too. Yeah, it's my favorite. <laughs> One of the favorites. You don't know if you the Sparno? Ah, uh, Fade Sparno's alright. I like Fade Sparno <laughs> the best, but. So we got these uh, legally highest THC seltzers. Wow. Tasty treat, number one. This is number tasty. One. These are the world's first THC seltzers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, can you imagine? I can imagine I'm going to drink it right now. I got mango. What do you got? I got nine. Yeah. They come in two flavors. Yeah, mango. It's so. <sighs> pretty good, actually. Fuck, that's relaxing. How many milligrams in that? 60 milligrams. Get high as a blink of an eye. <laughs> wow wow I, i'm already high i blinked <laughs> you blinked, you high. <laughs> and the good thing about the systemites is you use the promo code poly 20 and you get a discount on your purpose, purpose that's p-o-l-y 20 <laughs> my P-O-L- purpose is to purchase i am it. high already <laughs> I've, never been high, I've never been high in my life <laughs> we'll be this, laughing the rest of this episode ladies and gentlemen you told me this is legal i wouldn't drink it yeah oh, it, it, it says right on the bottom yeah I know what I'm saying. Oh, no, you have to be 21 to purchase, though. All right. If you're not, yeah, get a fake legal. ID. Yeah. <laughs> or call Sparno. He'll purchase it for you. Yeah, I'll get it for you. <laughs> 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 so, as we say, guys, go to legallyhighest.com and use the uh, promo code POLY20, P-O-L-Y-20, to get some fucking top-quality merchandise. Yeah. All right, systemites. 
we, you know, we've been doing this for so long. We've been getting so good at it. Our picks have been dominating. Everyone's been making money. So now they send us stuff, and we have to do these promos. Send us tasty treats. So the tasty treat promos now, we got these. uh, So we got these uh, righteous felons. Righteous felon beef jerky, ladies and gentlemen. Systemites. So good. I've got some. A tasty uh, treat for your taste buds. I've got some OG hickory over here. And my personal favorite, the Seoul Survivor. It's a little bit of Korean barbecue, if you like that kind of thing. I got a little baby blue barbecue. Oh, that's better. That's my favorite. I got some habanero Escobar. That one's spicy. Very spicy. Escobar is killing it over here. And Marilyn Monroe. Maryland Monroe. Uh, Like where Sparno's dog's from. Maybe you open that bad boy (laughs) up and let's try that, no? Should we try the Maryland Monroe? Who wouldn't try the Maryland Monroe? Yeah, let's do it. For Titus, at least. Hey, this is Spartan's dog. <laughs> I read the thing. These three guys from Pennsylvania, big time felons, came out and created this jerky. Wow. All the best things come from Pennsylvania, I think. Spartan, you get your dog from Pennsylvania? No? No, Maryland. It's actually very good. Mm. What is Madeline Monroe supposed to taste like? It's crab meat. I got the crab meat. Oh, okay. crab Makes sense. All right, good. good. Kiss of Chesapeake crab spice. Very oh, nice. Yeah. Definitely tastes the hickory. Oh, it's it's. You know what I like about this? It's soft. Mm. You know, sometimes you get the beef jerky; it's real hard. It's stuck in your teeth. I like the soft ones. This is nice and soft. Yeah, very good. It is very flavorful. I can't wait to taste the other ones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want this, I want it. You get a nice little discount. Go to righteousfelon.com and use promo code Poly15. P O L Y 15. That's well worth System. it. System. Mm. And Let's now go. we're going to get back into the show, ladies and gentlemen. After we eat all this food. All right, so Systemites, this is usually the part of the show where we bring on our, after we've had our tasty treats, we bring on a special guest. Given us week one, and we wanted to try and just, like, delve back in. We're not going to have a guest this week, but we have lined up all our guests for uh, this season. So we have some of our old favorites um, from last season. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, were you talking to Catman, Phil, or... Talking to Catman is tough, but we'll, we'll get him. <laughs> yeah. So actually, on Sunday, I talk. I was. I talked to Bones, Bones 2.0. I tried to reel him in. He what did said, he say? He said to me, "I'll join your podcast." So if Bones shows up with a fishing hat and a fishing pole because he thinks it's a podcast, <laughs> then you know what's good on. But either way, he's going to show up. So if that happens, that's why. But uh, yeah, we just didn't want to get any like the bottom feeders last year, like a layer. We just want to like don't want him. Bottom feeders. <laughs> we want to up. We want to up the standard. Yeah, we got I so mean, it. Bones is great. Bones, Catman, you know, guys like that. We always welcome on the show. And we do have a couple, maybe actual celebrities who are really interested in a couple of big names. Like, like Matt up, Damon. Up We're waiting for Matt, Matt Damon, Damon, Damon yeah. for a long time. We have years. You know, Shame is everyone, everyone says Matt Damon is really cool. He doesn't answer any of my emails. So <laughs> 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 he's really not that cool. Um, but that's, uh, as I said, so uh, just to give, we were off for six months. Uh, I think Phil was on the Twitter and Instagram a little bit, but we just sort of maybe at this point, we just want to let you know what we were up to. Um, I mean, six months, no one knows what we were up to. Uh, Sparno? Well, we were down in Nashville partying it up. We were down in Nashville. Um, we, yeah, so once the, once the season was over, we had a lot of money. Didn't mm-hmm. know what the hell to do with it. So the lads went down to Nashville. Yeah. Very, very good town. Seamus had a really good time on but Broadway. I hope there's no video footage of that. Yeah, there might be. I hope there is. Yeah, no, that, that, that's definitely a, a town I definitely suggest that every man goes to. Yeah, and woman. Oh yeah, woman. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a couple of women, sister mates. Yeah, um, no, but I was down there. Um, met a few of the locals. You know, Kid Rock's bar. Kid Rock's bar is great, and it's represented the Jason Aldean bar mm-hmm. too. So uh, we had a lot of good time down there. Um, Phil, what about you? What have you been up to? Me? Listen, on the off season, I study, I sit, I meditate. I literally did not drink a piece of alcohol the entire time. I one didn't piece? do any, not not that one piece. piece. I sit there, I meditate, I get ready for the season. Because, as I said before, the season's all that matters to me. That's true. So I, I do nothing. I'm in my coffin. I'm sitting there. I'm doing nothing. 
I spent zero dollars the entire time. I didn't eat. I was fasting. Six months. Fast. No water. No. When you fast, your body creates water. And that's what I did. I created my own water. <laughs> Just like I created the system. What about you? What did you do? Well, I was a little upset, actually. <laughs> what? We were all upset, um, but... A buddy of ours, you know, he put on to a nice cameraman to help him out with his podcast. Yeah. And uh, I had to go down there. They, they fired him, so I had to go down there and show him. Just yanked him? Yanked him out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. What so did, I had what to you go do? there and just, you know, he thinks he's MMA, so I just put him a little chokehold and you tell, got him, him? tell him who's boss. If he pulls his arm out, he's down. You done. You took him out? Took him out. Yeah, I did actually see a, a video circuit. There's a video circuit around out there, around, yeah. yeah. And that's good because, honestly... He didn't know. I mean, can we name him? Uh, can we name our boy? I uh, guess, yeah. yeah. Nah. I mean, anyway, either way, we just know that, uh, you know what, it's our fucking producer, Angelo. Yes. Angelo had a tough time. One of his podcasts kicked him to the curb. I'm sorry, brother. But uh, you've seen oh, the. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Wait, we have we have a video of uh, Angela, but Angela with a bit of road rage. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that's yeah. an exciting one. <laughs> that was right after the uh, the incident, right? Oh Angela shit! Bible? Yeah. What? Angela Bible? Yeah, that was uh, so we can shoot that there as well. Yeah, that was right after the incident, I think. Get off your phone. Take a picture. The cops can come and get you. You're on your phone, asshole. Get off your phone while you drive. That's right. Post this. Everybody will see it. This guy's driving with his phone, talking on the phone. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah, learn it, asshole. He was on the phone. He's pissed off. No, yeah. because Angelo was probably on the phone thinking about the system. Yeah. While he's driving, and you know, as you do, shit happens. You know. Yeah. Everyone's just thinking about the system all off season, so you know. So it matters. Yeah, and now the off season's over, and we're here. We're here. Here we are. We're back. So, as we say, next week uh, we did we did allude this last year. I think we can tell him that Ryan is going to be on. So Ryan is a big fantasy guy, and just given it's a fantasy fantasy football season, everyone's doing their drafts and stuff. We thought next week's a good time to take him on. Yeah, before he's, the season starts. Yeah, you know? he's got some good advice. I'll have some good advice. Phil will have some good advice. <laughs> Barno will have some advice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Whether you want to follow but... it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't fade me this year. <laughs> yeah, I, this is my year. Actually, real quickly, we actually had, so I'm in a 10 different drafts, but we had our Brazen one, one of my favorite leagues. Uh, we just uh, had it on Sunday. Sparno actually drafted a pretty solid team. That was my first day back drinking in seven uh, yeah. months. And Phil's first seven picture running I'm still, <laughs> I'm still not feeling good. Let it me was, tell you. It was a good day, and I actually think Sparno will yet again do well in the Brazen Fox League. Oh, he never came in last place. Never. No. Last place gets kicked out of the league, and Sparno has never been kicked out of the league. So I just want to say one thing. Also, Angelo, our cameraman, producer, does a lot of our Instagram shit. He's the best. Number one. <laughs> yeah. All right? Nobody better. Even though the road rage guy said so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he really hated him. Yo, it's fucking funny. It's very funny. And, I mean, other than that, there I seem as Phil... Thinking about the system, doing our work, and it's going to be a hell of a year. It really is going to be a hell of a year. I'm focused, man. Money on my mind. Made a meal after the deal, and I'm still on my grind. Who was that? I forgot. <laughs> uh, I'm happy enough with that. All right. All right. That's actually 50 Cent. So, we got back to the reality of the show. We do our um, picks? We, 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 thought we, we thought we'd give some predictions. Seamus thought of this. We do a little prediction segment. First episode. We don't know what's going to happen. The system kind of does. So we'll give you some predictions. Yeah, we're going to give some, like, I don't want to say the word outrageous, but, like, like long-shot predictions that actually kind of have a chance of happening. So we're not going to say it's going to happen, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. 100%. Um, so, Sparno, what do you got over there, bud? I got Georgia versus Ohio we'll State. Go NCAA yeah, first. We'll, go, we'll go to college football. College football so first. Four teams to make the playoffs, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't have the four. I got the final. Georgia and Ohio State. Okay. Wow. And I got Georgia winning. Georgia winning. You go Georgia for the three, Pete? Yep. Over and, Ohio State. And then NFL. I got, wait, wait, wait. Let's go around. Yeah. yeah. NCAA. Just do point one. Right, ah, we'll yeah, we'll go that. with the NFL after. Okay. Go with the you college then? Yeah. All right, so I actually done a final four in college. Um, anyone who watched the show last year, 
New, I'm big on USC, and I'm going to go on USC one more time to make the Final Four. It's their quarterback, Caleb Williams, last year. So I think they'll make the Final Four along with Georgia going for the three-peat, Alabama, who want to stop Georgia, and Michigan. Michigan's a funny team. I actually don't really like them, but apparently the big hype this year. So that's my Final Four with it's a Georgia-Bama final. And Bama stopping Georgia for the three peat. So Nick Saban nice. is livid, and he's <laughs> going to stop Georgia getting the three peat. You know, that's not going. He's not going to let that happen. His watch. I totally agree with that. I got the same thing. Actually. Really? Besides your Final Four, I got Bama winning. I okay. got Georgia, Bama, LSU, Ohio State. Ohio State is my only non-SEC team because they always got to put a non-SEC team in, even though they know all SEC teams are better than the rest. That's true. You know. Michigan, TCU made it last year. They got stomped. I mean, it's embarrassing. That's why I was looking at Clemson too. But same thing. It doesn't matter. Whatever you replace Bama with a Clemson with oh, Ohio so State with Michigan, it just makes no sense because it's a fucking gimme. To Bama the would have beat any of those other teams except maybe Georgia 100%. in that Final Four, and they would have killed them. So it's stupid the way they do it. That's why we need the sixteen team playoffs that they're going to do. Are they actually going to? Yeah, it's going to be. I don't know when, but they're doing a sixteen team playoff. That's a lot. It's going to be awesome. It's, it's going, going to be, be great, great for the system. I'll tell you that oh, much. You're going to make so much money. Yeah. <laughs> I would have went to it. But, yeah, that's my four, and I got Bama winning the championship. Yeah, I got Nick Saban coming back, kicking Georgia's ass again. It's time. Georgia's had enough rain. Nick Saban's pissed. He's very pissed. The whole state of Alabama's pissed, <laughs> and they're going, to, they're going to dominate. Yeah, they are. All right, so that's that. We'll obviously mark that down. Um, me and Phil got Bama. Sparno's got Georgia. Georgia. All right. That's good. Yeah, I could see it being a final. So we got uh, now we got the NFL predictions. Sparno, what NFL. You got? I got Jacksonville versus the Lions in the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Super Bowl. And I got Jacksonville Crazy. winning. You're big on the Lions. I'm big Trevor Lawrence. So guy. cats, two a double cat Super Bowl. Double it's cat Super Catman Bowl. Super Bowl. Catman Super if Bowl. this happens, we bring Catman on the episode. Big party before the Super Bowl. <laughs> have a huge party. <laughs> the Lions got a good team. They got the, the court. They got the running back from Alabama, Gibbs. Yeah, Gibbs good. Gibbs Goff is good, but I love Trevor Lawrence. I think he's underrated. And Jacksonville was really good last year. And I don't think they can credit. They're in a, they're, they're they're in a soft division, too, so I can definitely see yeah. them. Make, they'll definitely make the playoffs. They're making yeah. the playoffs easy for them. 100%. Jacksonville, yeah. they're, they're, they're on the come up. Yeah. They're back. Uh, Lions have a tougher. Nah, you know what? The NFC. The NFC is weak. is very weak. It's very weak, and they're actually our favorites to win their division, so that's not actually that terrible. They play against the Chiefs week one on Thursday night football. Lions. That's going to be a good game, actually, yeah. just like to watch. Yeah. I'm, def- I'm definitely rooting for the Lions in that one. Nah. I like that, Sparno. All right, so I went for my two teams. I want the, a Chargers-Eagles Super Bowl. So Chargers, they're the kind of team, like, they're pretty stacked, but they every year they just, like, they don't show up. They got Callum Moore now calling the plays from Dallas. He's very inoffensive, man. So I could see friggin' uh, Sparno's pal, Hubert. Herbert Hubert. Hubert. Trolling for 5,000 yards. 5,000 yards. 5,000 yards. Mark it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hubert? They, yeah. They're going to the Super Bowl, and I just think they're going to play the Eagles because, again, we just hinted on the, the NFC sucks, I think. It's a weaker yeah. schedule. I think the Eagles team's dominant, and I think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl yeah. like they probably should have won last year, really, mm-hmm. if they had a fucking at any game. I like the Eagles, but they're just so predictable. I'd rather go, you know, get yeah, screen a little bit and go with someone else. I get that, too, but. Shot. Eagles never played a good team the entire season last year until the until the Super Bowl. Did they play the Giants? Yeah, they're not Giants good. Giants are good last no, year. They're not good. You told me they were good last year because they had a weak schedule, just like the Eagles. Uh, Cowboys are good. They're not good. Uh, Cowboys are. Yeah, the Eagles good. never played a good team the entire season, not once until the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. When they played the Niners, they had no quarterback in the in the playoffs. No when they they played the Giants in the playoffs, all oh, they had the, the playoffs were the Giants, then the Niners with no quarterback. No, Purdy was hurt. Oh, really? Purdy and the fucking other guy was hurt. They had to put uh, this guy who never played quarterback in his life in yeah, against right. the Eagles. Yeah. And then they played the Chiefs. Was and it they got, Brock, Brock something, right? Brock? No, you're talking about Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy got Brock hurt Purdy. before that game. He was hurt. He couldn't play. <laughs> so I remember. Yeah, there's a different guy. Because I took the Niners in that game because Purdy was hurt, and they got whooped. After all that, who's your fucking teams for the Super Bowl? All right. My Super yeah. Bowl, I got the Subway <laughs> Series. Giants, Jets, even though there's no Subway to that stadium. The Subway Series. The Giants are dominant this year. They got Darren Waller, best tight end in the world. I like him. Signed Saquon. We signed James Robinson as a backup running back. He's sick. He He's has. basically a poor man's Saquon. He's like the Iguodala of LeBron James. Friggin' dominant defense, dominant D-line. No receivers. D- 
Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Daniel Jones is going to run for a million yards. That might happen. All right. The Jets, on the other hand, very good. Aaron Rod. They were one. Of, they had one of the best defenses last year. Now you're adding Aaron Rodgers, the best quarterback in the world, maybe of all time. He's definitely to that team. All right, top five. He's very good. He's one of the best. The, the Jets are just going to be sick. They're going to be great to bet against for the first four weeks, and we're all going to be all over that. I know. But they're eventually going to turn it around and be dominant. Again, just because obviously we're in New York, and I know a million Jets fans, and every year they fucking say this is their year. It's even with Thorne Rodgers. Yeah, hard, they, they hard for me to believe that this. They got to find a way to fuck it up. Oh, but I got the Giants sure. to win the Super Bowl oh. against the Jets. So okay, that's when they fuck it up eventually. That's know? more believable. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. I forgot to say that. Ah, uh, so I'd say we'll mark those down and we'll revisit them at the end of the season, I guess, or playoff time. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see whose predictions were more. This is all recorded, so we can actually uh, look That's back it. and check, you know? We will. Maybe Angelo could edit it out at the, at the end of the season if we're wrong. <laughs> but, uh, oh, we had the yeah. Chiefs and yeah. the uh, Colts. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's shoot again. You go, the Jets are going to beat the Giants. <laughs> That's why Angelo is so good. Um, all right, now, you know, as we do every week, you know, we got a couple games. Football Saturday. season's back. Not a lot of games. Is that seven games back. on Saturday? We know we like to we like to not bet this week, but as we did last year. We picked two games last year. We went zero and two. So we, we do one pick. We do one pick this week. Right? No, we're gonna take two again. We're gonna win them this time. We're gonna win big, All right? Because we have a system now. We're gonna win. Huge. We have another system on top of the system. It's a double system system. So Tomorrow. last year we took U, we took UTEP against UNT. I remember. And they lost. And we also took Nebraska. They were 13-point favorites over Northwestern. And Northwestern beat them. Nebraska was really bad for the first few weeks, and they fired their coach. Plus, it was in double. That was in Ireland. Ireland. Yep. All right. So now we got Wait. three more. We got, we're going to take three picks this year because two picks plus a fade to Sparno. Oh, yeah. You think we're going to not do fade to Sparno in week one? <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Wake up. All right. I guess I'll do the first pick then because it kind of translates. The game, again, we just said the last game we talked last year was in Dublin. So this year, another game is in Dublin. It's uh, Notre Dame against Navy. Uh, Notre Dame are 20 and a half point favorites. I know, I know. Notre Dame, big system killers. The whole of last year. I don't know where the board is. But God. <laughs> we'll bring it back next week. Um, we all know last year, they suck. They stink. They played Navy, I think it was uh, three weeks before... The, their bowl game, and they only beat them by three. 35-33. It was 32. 35-32. Yeah. So now, uh, as I said, this game's over in Ireland, Notre Dame. The fight in Irish. We say Notre Dame are system killers, so the system will be not to take them, so it means we do take them. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, because they're playing in Ireland. They're the fighting Irish. Everyone's going to be all over them. Yeah. You know? We're, so <laughs> we're going to do opposite system on Notre Dame. System killer is now system winner. Yeah. Double negative. It is double, negative. double negative makes a Two positive. wrongs make a right. You learned out of fucking elementary school and grade seven and primary school, whatever freaking country you went to, yes. you know what it means. Double negative makes a positive. Yes. I'm going to say Notre Dame win that by 30 points. And what's the double negative? Notre Dame and Ireland. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> makes a positive. As I said, Notre Dame <laughs> minus 20 points, they'll cover that by 30. Uh, and that'll put us 1-0, get the season started off. Phil, what do you got? Oh, I've been looking at, I've been staring at this game for the last, like, seven weeks. Sparno, I'm texting Sparno, I like Ohio. I like him. He's like, dude, the season doesn't start for, like, a month. I'm like, dude, I've been meditating in my room, not eating and drinking for the last eight weeks, eight months. So all I've been doing is looking at this fucking game. So I have Ohio plus two and a half against San Diego State. I think it's a night uh, afternoon game. Notre Dame's at 2.30. It's the first game. Yeah, because that's, this one, that's I think 7.30 now. He's at 7 or something. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Everyone's going to be pumped about the San Diego State. They were in the NCAA basketball tournament, made it to the last game. They're going to be like, wow, these guys, they must be good. They're favored by only two and a half at home against Ohio. The nobodies. Who the hell is this? No idea. Never heard of them. So we take Ohio, plus two and a half, system. And that line's been moving in. It was three and a half earlier. In the it week, was three and, and a half. Down to two yeah. I wanted to take oh, it I like that too, actually. before. I took it now because I'm going to Costa Rica tomorrow. So I have to bet now before I get there and I can't bet anymore. But so. Yeah. Maybe Vegas take a notice of the system. I'm in. Are you in? I'm in. 
All right, so now it's uh, time for Phil's favorite part of the show. Um, so we obviously had a theme tune last year. I loved it. Everyone loved it. But people were saying to us, why are we using the show from a song from our childhood <laughs> when we were like seven years old? <laughs> if you didn't get it, it was from Blues Clues. Yeah. So we're like, you know what? We're going to try and be more current. So as the weeks go on, we might change it up. But this is our first try at our newest introduction to Fade the Sparno. And we go. Fade the, fade the Sparno, cause his picks are just so wrong. If you like making money, then you're against Mr. Sparno. <laughs> All right, thank you for that, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> but I think this year is my year. I, I told do you, you like really. the new song? <laughs> I, I do, I do. I like it. That's why I think my picks are good. The main popping. <laughs> <laughs> the vein is popping, baby. If you couldn't tell, that's what the shirt is. It's the it's the vein. Yeah. I don't know if we said that before. System with the vein from the video. Yeah, it's infamous. So my pick, you know, like my high over unders. The highest over this week is the USC game versus San Jose State over six six and a half. So I'm going over sixty six and a half, and I think it's gonna be a winner. All right. USC is dominant. They're gonna probably get that on their own. I think yeah. So, USC is going to come out and stomp all over them, I guess. Home, the great team. So I, I've already made these three bets. I made, I made the Notre Dame, the Ohio, and I took the under on the USC game. Fade to Sparno. Okay. Just to let you know, I've done it. I'm in. All right. Good luck. And, yeah. And again, <laughs> uh, I'll just feed off the back of the Fade to Sparno. Just a little, I do this very fleetingly. I mean, it is very fleeting that I do the soccer picks, but especially now at the start of the season, just I always say there's a little spot spot uh, places to jump in. This weekend, I really like two picks, so you want to parlay them up. It's the Hungry Wolves. It's one of the Hungry Wolves yeah. are playing Everton. Both teams suck, but I just know that Wolves suck a little less, and they're getting plus 200. And then I'm going with my boys, Aston Villa. have come out of the season, bang out of the blocks. So if you go for Wolves and Aston Villa, that's in the English Premier League, you double both of them up in a parlay, you're getting plus 600 on that. It's very nice. It's worth at least fifty bucks. I'll get you a nice three hundred bucks. Start start the weekend right. All right. So it's just a little soccer thing for you. We'll probably put it in the website or whatever. But no, nah, maybe we won't actually. You watch the show. Go Wolves and Villa. Otherwise, fuck you. And, and just Listen. one more thing. Since he mentioned the word parlay, that's fine. But we're not doing parlays. None. Out. Oh. This Ohio. You bet Ohio. No, you could bet Ohio, parlay that. That's fine. Beautiful. But this Ohio Notre Dame. And USC oh, under. Oh, no, 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 no. Just no. bet them straight, separate. I would say go smaller this week than, than, than from now. This is, the, this is the, just to get our toes wet. Yeah. Just to get ourselves get our beaks wet. In the, into the method of gambling. You know, we're back. You got to get the wheels rolling. You know what okay. I mean? Just so we go. got these three picks. Don't go crazy. After this week, then pick your, pick your amount. Do that 10 times max, like I said. And every game, take that. If you're going to do just the picks on the show, bet them much bigger, I would suggest. If you're not going to do the picks on the show... Just do what you're comfortable with. That's it. We're not doing parlays. We'll let you know when to start doing parlays. It's not time yet. Yeah. I said it's just wet or whistle. It's good to be back, boys. It's been yeah. a while. And that is system. 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 Episode one. Just remember to uh, subscribe on the YouTube. It's Trust the System Podcast. You got to put that all in. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we're on the Instagram. That was- is it. Trust the system, system pod. pod. And then Twitter. Trust the system, system three. three. Oh. Nah. That's a tricky one. <laughs> that one's tough. Yeah. But the other one I said, we've got plenty of subscribers out there. YouTube's my favorite. Um, but I, said I, I like YouTube and I like the Instagram post. Yeah, but Phil's good in the Twitter too. So I'm always on the Twitter. So I'm, I'm going to post all the pics on the Twitter and the Instagram uh, before Saturday. And, uh, well... <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to stop posting the show picks on there so you, to make you guys watch the show like I did last year. I don't think good. you should do eventually. Just, just, just do it straight off the block. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Just dick the people that don't watch the show? Yeah. Good, good old-fashioned dicking. Maybe you can tell, maybe, maybe maybe tell them. <laughs> tell them on there. We're not giving the picks on the show. You got to watch the yeah, show. Yeah, but you can put it up after and say, hey, fucking, you watch the show, you would have been fucking six and three. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got we to make some kind of difference. That's true. I like that. Make people do a little work. You got to do some work. You're so lazy. I'm what are you there. sitting there eating Cheetos? They are. What are you doing? Wake up. Giving free picks. You get free picks. All you have to do is sit there. Here we go. Like you always do. <laughs> like you always do anyway. 
and look at your phone and wait for the pick to show up. How hard is that? I wish I was you. I wish I had me to watch the podcast. I wish it was three of other people yeah, for us to watch. Yeah, three other guys <laughs> to watch and listen to their shit and, and make money for free. I wish. We're going to have a great year. It's good to be back. System. Yes. That's it.